What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach, and today we are out here in beautiful Prosper, Texas. You guys know this is our stomping grounds here. Texas has always been the ultimate state for home theaters because all the homes are built with home theaters in mind. Now guys, we don't only service Texas, we are now in 18 different states and growing and we ship throughout the entire nation. Whether you guys need distributed audio, you need cameras, you need a dedicated home theater, networking, Dream Media has you covered with all the industry leading manufacturers. Today we're going to take you on a home theater tour with full cow speakers. I'm super excited guys, let's get in there. Yeah, this looks beautiful. That install is flawless. Our first home theater we've had, we moved from down near downtown Dallas, so we had a much smaller house down there, no room for a home theater or anything like that. So yeah, this is our first home theater setup. We got a little game room out here and then it flows yeah, into the theater. Yeah, it goes right cool. Into here. So we tried to make it as kid friendly as possible. So this is, I guess, where the bulk of the work that you guys did. So the, the folk call speakers, the 85 inch that got mounted right there. Nice. Um, and then you got the rears right here and the surrounds up in the ceiling. So, cool. So you got a 5.1.2 or yeah, 5.1.2 yeah. Dolby Atmos system. Yeah, subs over there and then the... Uh, Equipment's terminating in here. Yeah, everything's in here, so. That room was kind of the only room that I was in charge of when we were decorating and setting everything up in there. So yeah, that room, uh, I think, got her approval pretty quickly and it's it's run from there. So everybody's been happy with it. Even the kids are happy with everything that they've been watching in there, as, as happy as they can be for being little ones watching cartoons and whatnot. But yeah, everybody is satisfied with what's going on in that room. This is a room I could do whatever I wanted to uh, and put whatever screen I wanted in it, what kind of sound I wanted. And these guys were the ones that set me up with exactly what I was looking for. So yeah, I was I was excited, you know, kind of run with it and get everything that I've ever wanted, uh, that I'd always wanted. How was the installation? You used uh, one of our preferred installers, right? Yeah, they came out, I think it was a team of three guys that got it done and they, uh, man, they blazed through it. They got it done really fast. I think they initially said it might be a day and a half or two day job and they got it done in one day. Nice. So I don't know if they expected the third guy to come out or not, but they, man, they killed it. They started with the other TVs, which I'll show you in a second. And okay. They finished in here. I think they just got the setup done a lot faster than they thought they would and, and cleaned it up really nice. So, That's yeah. what we like to hear. It was great. Perfect. So, and they even, you know, I told them exactly where I wanted the TVs. Like in here, it's pretty easy because it's right in the middle, right? Yeah. Like the bedroom they were about to go to, I was like, I want it centered on where the bed is, not on the center of the wall that it's going on. And they're like, all right, we'll get the tape measure out and, and make sure it's where you want it. So, awesome. It was great. So yeah, we definitely enjoyed the entire experience from picking out what we wanted, getting it here, and getting it installed. The decision initially was, do I go with a, what is it, like a, a ultra short mm -hmm. row projector or a TV? Yeah, because this room is is kind of, uh, the depth isn't very deep. But what are we looking at here, like 12 feet? 14, I think. 14? the grand total. 14 it, feet deep, and what's the length here? Uh, the length's a little bit longer. I want to say it's more like 18 Six, six 16 to 18? Okay. Like so, and when they did that on the initial specs of the house, they wanted oriented this way. Yeah. And they put the projector back there, and then they put the screen over here. And my first thought was like, well, that, all the light's going to be coming from right behind it. And I don't want to do rows of seating. I wanted to do this. I think the way that the the setup came together, the way that the uh, the way that the speaker package lined up. I think the only other option um, that even interested us was a uh, is a Klipsch. I think is how you pronounce it. Yeah. Um, they that package kind of caught my eye, but the Focal ones just looked better. I think and, and seemed to be more. Uh, in line with what we were looking to do, uh, both budget-wise and sound-wise. So this is the receiver, guys, for anybody who hasn't had a home theater in the past. Basically, the receiver is going to send the video signal over to the TV. It's going to decode your 18 gigabit per second 4K signal, um, as well as it's going to amplify and decode the surround sound so it's going to send actually power all of these passive speakers as well as depending on whatever surround sound configuration you're listening to it's going to send the appropriate format to the speaker so like this room is a dolby atmos system which is our most common configuration because all large production films are now recorded in dolby atmos Dolby Atmos is going to separate out your ground level effects from overhead effects and give you a really immersive 3D experience. So like the customer should feel these speakers, these low level speakers, uh, 
ripping around the room, but in addition, like helicopters, rain, things like that, that would typically be above you in the scene, he's gonna hear up here, making it really immersive. And then we're gonna tie all that together with deep, heart-pounding bass down here. It was fantastic. The, the sounded great, it looked great, that everything had been exactly what I wanted it to be. So yeah, I was, I was blown away. You just have to know what, what your budget is and what all you're gonna have to get, whether you wanna have a sub in there or how big of a TV you're gonna get, and then you know go from there, figure out what you can do with the price. The price was surprisingly good. You guys can see he has the Apple TV. We were talking about this a little bit before, but basically think about it like having your phone or iPad or computer, or really all three, merged together into an interface that's specifically designed for your television or projection setup. As far as like streaming goes, the Apple TV 4K is my favorite. Obviously for you guys that are doing ultra high-end premium home theaters, we have like the Kaleidoscape, um, or you would wanna do like a Blu-ray 4K disc, HDR disc. Um, but if for the average consumer, streaming with the Apple TV 4K is awesome. You just wanna make sure that you're running at least 100 megabits per second, which a lot of my clients now, especially in this area up in the North Dallas, um, you're getting a gig, you know? So you're, you're streaming all day at 300 to 500 megabits per second, so you're not gonna have an issue with buffering. We're gonna go in and uh, select a movie, but you can download any apps uh, to this interface that you would typically have on your phone or computer. So HBO, uh, Peacock, Netflix, you know, the, there's a lot of different apps, Hulu, where you can get really good content. But we're gonna go specifically into movies and just play you guys a quick little demo. So I do wanna make sure that his settings are outputting properly. You can see right there on the front of the unit, it is outputting in Dolby Atmos. This is the Dolby Atmos movie. And at the top, whenever you read the description, you always see like 4K, HDR, Dolby Atmos, um, Dolby Vision, things like that. <laughs> As you guys can hear, this is what having a home theater is all about. Not only can you watch Bluey with the family, but you could come in here and watch some adult films as well. In this Dolby Atmos movie, you could clearly hear when he just smashed through the window, you heard the glass falling above you. And then like whenever he started shooting and the guy started blasting back, you're feeling those gunshots popping off right behind you. In addition to clarity in the dialogue coming from this center speaker. So this center speaker is slightly upgraded. So we have the 100 series for the front left and right and rear left, right and overhead, which is a great speaker. It's got the uh, polyglass woofer as well as the aluminum inverted dome tweeter. But this guy down here, this is the 301. It's a newer speaker from Focal and it features their flax woofers and then a magnesium aluminum inverted dome tweeter. So a little bit more proprietary, similar to what you're gonna see in like their Canta series speakers, um, which is a $5,000 speaker. So really nice design. I like that it's slim on wall and it's ported. The center speaker is gonna be the most important speaker in your room because this is where the dialogue comes from. Another reason that I like this speaker is if your framing isn't lining up perfect, like typical framing is sitting 16 inches on center. And if it's perfectly lined up to where you have that gap in the middle of the wall, you can put an end wall inside the wall, but if you have a stud right in the middle, you really can't do that. But this 301 is perfect because it's slim, low profile, you can barely see it, and it's gonna give you incredible performance if your wall isn't cooperating. They also make another model, the 302, which is very comparable, it just has more woofers. Hit it, Dolly. You guys hear that? Literally, they just put Dolly Parton on front left and right speakers, dialogues here, and then you hear the sword whew, out of his back. So freaking cool. <laughs> You're hearing what Dolby Atmos 
does right right here in this theater here and this is at a very affordable price point so that's one thing like the client said that we really pride ourselves on here at dream media is putting together packages that are going to maximize performance and budget so talk with the consultants we can give you all different options high medium low and you can pick we have all the industry leading manufacturers to choose from which makes it really easy to deliver an exceptional home theater experience oh, wow. yeah this, this looks amazing. beautiful yeah so this that is install is flawless they great so they measured where it went it's super flush and i, I love it this was a uh, another wife thing because oh absolutely house. she's like you're getting your big tv in there so i want a living room that's not centered around a tv and she found this that looks like art and sorry it's cloudy today but on a sunny day you can't oh tell. yeah can't yeah so. yeah this is the art tv from samsung as you guys can see he has a piece of art on here and you can browse the different art collections and even import different art um, set up even to put the weather on there or um, there's a lot of features, uh, alarms that you can set up um, yeah. for different things to come on at different times of the day, or you can just turn it on and watch the news or sports or whatever, yeah. gaming even, because it's a quantum uh, a QLED. This uh, 65, it's actually a little tiny right here. And you have this one on uh, articulating bracket, mm -hmm. so they can pull off the wall and rotate. Rotate the wall too, so that nice. again just has a Apple TV, 3M strip to the back yep. of it, and that's all we need. So. I mean, these days, uh, you can do a lot with an Apple TV in each room, even like with uh, AirPlay 2 now yep. yeah. for multi-room streaming. The receiver has it as well. Uh, there weren't any hiccups. Honestly, the only hiccup we had was that it was a new house construction, so we were kind of up in the air about when we were actually going to get in, so I kind of had to go back and forth with Kellen a couple times about, you know, we think we're moving in in September, but now it's November, and it ended up being December, so... But that's just the pandemic has made house building an insane process. So, but they were they were right with me the entire way and uh, adapted to every change in deadline and, and budget actually too. And, and figuring out, hey, we can drop a little bit more in this room. So what can we upgrade? And what's what's the best way for us to put this money to work? So yeah, it was it was great. Honestly, talk talk to your guys. Tell them, because if you're upfront about what your budget is and stuff like that, that Kellen worked with me with that and figuring out where we could put the money to make the most uh, the most use of it, the most bang for our buck, you know, and figure out, hey, let's put a little bit more into the speakers, a little bit less into the receiver, because I don't need some of the features of the of the newest receiver and whatnot. I just needed to do airplay and control the speakers, basically. So uh, I think we ended up going with a 2019 model receiver instead of a 2021, which saved us a couple hundred bucks, which we then turned around and put into some better uh, front channel speakers. So yeah, we just kind of made the budget work. He knew what, what I was working with and, and made it happen. Overall, very satisfied. Very, very satisfied. We're happy with everything that they did. The install, the, the buying process, the making sure that everything was, was what we wanted. So yeah, satisfied for sure. We got another happy customer. This is why we do it. He was saying his brother-in-law's moving in across the street over here in this new construction. And we're gonna be doing that one as well. These new construction neighborhoods are perfect. Like we were talking about extensively with him, how important it is to consult with our guys because as your home's being built, like see this one right here, how it's in the framing stage. If you get with my guys, you can FaceTime with them and it costs nothing. All we ask is that you buy your equipment from us, you know, at the end of the deal, but you can consult with them and they'll specifically look at every single wire in the house and make sure it's in the correct spot and even talk about things like the Smurf tube. It's a little corrugated uh, plastic tube that you run from one spot to another for like upgrading HDMI over time, or you can run any wires you'd like through it. But all of these little things are extremely important. Like we were even talking about Cat6 and how you can use Cat6 for balance, you know, converting it from Cat6 over to HDMI, which you guys know I've made videos on that in the past. But just there's a lot of complexities and different things to think about, whether it's networking, cameras, distributed audio, or home theater, which you can see in this home, like, we even just mounted some TVs up in the wall. So here at Dream Media, we have you covered on all fronts, every aspect of technology, really, at the end of the day, that's gonna go into your home. So reach out and utilize our consultation service, guys. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.